face. I am doing a tutorial for you guys. I did a Instagram post of my first fall look that I did for this year. I actually really, really liked it. A lot of people said they wanted a tutorial, so I'm giving it to you. Um, I was trying to debate whether I wanted a full face tutorial or just the eyes, so I think I'm just going to do a full face because I have so many other videos I got to do after this. So, if you would like to see what I did, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to try and not like make my mirror like center of attention, but I already have um, moisturized my face. I am actually trying out some new makeup, so it's kind of a first impression slash tutorial kind of thing. So um, I got a sample size of the Bliss Mad About You Smoothing Mineral Primer, and I tried this on my hand yesterday just to see. And it's just a very light set, even though I just put it on my face. And um, I can tell you this, just by rubbing it, ooh, it just spits out at you. Um, just by rubbing it on my hand, you can tell it's silicone based. Going in with the Milani eyeshadow primer, and this is in nude. And I've had, I'm going in with a Sweet Peach palette and my Real Techniques um, base shadow brush looks like this. And I'm going into the shade. You definitely tell I've used this palette quite a bit. What is this one? Peaches and Cream. It's this cream shade down here. I'm basically just going to set my primer. Okay. So there's that. Just a blank canvas here. Then the one thing I didn't grab was a crease brush. I went and tried to lay all my brushes out so I wouldn't have to back and forth come here okay so I'm gonna use this one this is a smudge brush and this is by Bo gosh I want to say his last name or her last name if I pronounce it wrong I'm sorry <laughs> then I'm gonna go in with Georgia it's a shade right here as a nice transition shade everybody's so dapper loud that's my opinion. And I'm just going to put this in my crease. I'm also going to put another shade in there to darken it up. We will just see what happens. Because honestly, when I did the look the first time, I think what I need to start doing is leaving my phone up on my selfie stick and, you know, filming even though I don't want to film just in case like it turned out different than what I wanted because to be honest I didn't expect it to turn out as well as it did and I really really liked it and then I'm like damn I should have filmed tell me I'm not the only youtuber that thinks that way you know after doing all that that you know hey should have filmed <laughs> a little bit more all right the next shade I'm going in with is puree it's the shade right here and I'm also going to put that in the crease. And it's more of a medium brown. But the lid shade, believe it or not, is actually not in this palette. It's in another one. And I was looking for a nice, light, coppery shade, you know, for fall. And... I didn't really find one that I, there's only one like gold shade in here and it's this one right here and that's nectar, but it wasn't really what I wanted. And I will show you in a minute on what I found. The next shade I'm going in with is actually in the Coastal Scents Revealed palette. This is the first one they came out with. And I'm going into the shade this yeah this one right here it is very pretty now I know on camera it actually looks like it's pink it really is not pink at all it is a nice golden coppery shade so I'm gonna go in with it doesn't say what this is but it is just you can go with any flat shader brush as you see fit this one that I got off of AliExpress um, it is not a dupe or anything for any brushes that I have found, so it should not be an issue for YouTube, but you never know. 
Trust me, my husband's coming out with a video. That one. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I'm just going to take my shader brush. A little bit on. And Then I'm going to go into, I'm going to go back into the peach palette. Let's see. I'm going to start out with a smaller brush. Than what I was there it is. I'm going in with the e.l.f. Blending Eye Brush. It's one of their dollar brushes. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shade Delectable, which is this, because I don't drop it. This purple, dark purple shade here, and I'm going to put it in my outer V. Honestly, I thought this one was going to be a lot deeper than what it looks, but honestly, it's actually not that deep. I mean, it's a purple, but it's not as much as I want it to be. I may just go into the... Then I'm going in with the Deluxe Crease Brush from Real Techniques, and I'm basically just going to bring this in and buff it out. Now, what I am going to do, I am going to go back into the Reveal Palette, get some more of that shade, because I did just kind of put purple all up in there, and I really didn't mean Before I finish, stay. <laughs> Before I finish my eyes, I'm gonna go in with my foundation and my concealer. Cause let me tell you, I just basically look like I just hit myself or had somebody hit me in the face. So I'm gonna go with my foundation first. I am using the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance with Olay Ingredients. It's the age-defying one. And I don't know why I stopped using it. Besides that, I kept buying new foundation that I wanted to try out. And this is actually a little dark for me, so I will be taking it down my neck. But it's okay. Just going to dot it on my face. Okay. Then I'm going to take the brush. This is the iBeauty 21L brush. I got this one from um, 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 TJ Maxx. And I'm just going to use this like you would use any other... Um, um, toothbrush brush. The only thing I would not recommend this for is someone who's got dry skin. Reason being is because I do have a few um, dry patches in between my nose. And you can't see it now. But once I put a little bit of powder on, you're going to be able to see those um, dry patches in between your nose, on your face, wherever you have them. So I wouldn't suggest that. But that's just my opinion. Um, if you used it before and you got dry skin and it works out, good for you. I'm glad. But for me, I just didn't no. know. And then for concealer, I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles. And this one is in the Neutralizer. And as you can tell, I'm like halfway through this tube. I really do like this. I'm going back. I'm going to get like two more. This one's the Neutralizer. I want to get the one in light. And I want to get the one for highlighting or illuminating. I think that's the pink one. Or I'm sorry, I think that's for brightening. I want to get that for my under eye. Basically, what I'm going to do is do the triangle underneath my eye.
I've been using this little one. I got this, I think, in my Ipsy bag. This is from Winky Lux. This is their diamond powder. Now, tell me that is not cute ass packaging. That is so cute. Pink and diamonds. What woman does not like pink and diamonds? I don't know. But I like it. Ah. Oh, okay. I didn't nick it. I thought I nicked it. I was about to cry. <laughs> See, a grown woman cry over makeup. That's sad. But hey. Basically, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put this everywhere I put my concealer. So, underneath my eyes. My nose. And the one thing I do like about this that I, I've noticed is that it does not make your under eyes look creepy. Which I've had an issue. It definitely makes me look like I have caverns underneath my eyes. Like I'm an 80 or 90 year old woman. And I swear to God I'm not that old. <laughs> so. But I think I am going to get the full size of this. From what I've tried, I really, I really, really like it. And I think this one is like $20. And they say that there's um, small um, pieces of diamond in this. Now, whether that's really true, I don't know. But I can tell you this, I really like the powder. <laughs> and it's nice and soft. Like, it's baby soft. You can just rub your eyes and it's just like, Oh, kind of thing um, but there's that it, you know, now that I'm looking at it there is some shimmer if you don't like shimmer you may not like this but there is some shimmer I don't mind it on my under eye per se especially what I'm getting ready to do to my under eye <laughs> so I am going to take a ugh, get off me any kind of um, liner brush kind of thing this one is the wet and wild small itty bitty smudge brush and yes, you can tell I've used it because I like it. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the Sweet Peach Palette. I'm going to go back into Puree right here. And then I'll go in with this purple up here, which is Delectable. And I'm basically going to put it on my under eye. You come here. We're going to bend you over. That sounds really wrong. Watch. YouTube's going to block it and be like, nope, that's inappropriate content. But... I don't know what to say. And if you are new to putting eyeshadow on underneath your eyes, which honestly I just recently got into because every time I did it, it would just go like all the way down here. Like I could never get an even line. Here's a little trick for you that I've learned. Instead of moving your brush, move your face. I know that sounds weird, but place your brush here and then just move your face. That's all you got to do. That's kind of what I've been doing. <laughs> but instead of moving the brush, just move your face. And I even got a trick for I uh like winged liner. Because everybody knows, if you've seen any of my videos, you've never seen me wing out a liner. Because I just, I can't do it. I, I don't know what it is, but I can't, I can't do it. And I don't know if I was out of focus when I did that, but can you tell I just put a little small line there's my wing liner guys that's it <laughs> i'm gonna see if i can show you on my right eye or closer so you guys can see this so right now i'm just gonna put the purple underneath need a little bit more okay next the only thing i do is i actually close my eye and just kind of draw it out and I just keep going until I get it as dark as I want so there you go there's a small little wing there and that's all I did because trust me you can go back to all my videos and you you know I do not have a wing liner on 
Um, but I just recently learned how to do this because I've watched so many videos on people doing um, winged liner and I just I could not master it at all and I do believe in the fact you know practice makes perfect on certain things like that but you know things that work for some people may not work for you and that's makeup to and fro regardless if it's liner eyeshadow whatever um, but I can tell you this that's the only way I've been able to wing out some liner is with some dab my hair <laughs> is with eyeshadow and the good thing about eyeshadow instead of eyeliner is that you can easily just wipe this away and put a new color if you don't like it. Li liquid liner, gel liner, whatever, you would have to take off your entire makeup look that you just did to redo it. So, I actually kind of like this, to be honest with you. I think it's quite nice. And it's not very strong as what a black, you know, winged liner would be. So, I like that. The next thing I'm going in with... This is also a sample, or more like a deluxe size sample, of mascara. This is the Lorac Cobra Mascara. And this is a Noir, which obviously is black. And I will show you the wand. I love the shape of this. It really does look like a cobra head. So this is what the wand looks like. And I'm going to turn it to the side. So it definitely looks like it goes up like a cobra head. And then you can see its head, like, fanned out. So, I've never used this kind of mascara. I figure you use it just like for curling your lashes. They said this is for, what is it? Okay, I misplaced the box. But it's supposed to be for lengthening, volumizing, and curling. So, let's see how this goes. Now, if you want to go all out, you can use false lashes. I did not use false lashes due to the fact, while I'm filming this, I have another four or five videos to film. And I was going to work, so I definitely was not putting on false lashes. But, you know, depending on your lashes, you may need them, which is, there's nothing wrong with that. And I don't curl my lashes. I used to, and then I used to get mascara, like, all up there yeah no I'll pass <laughs> and I was tempted to go with a black liner like in my inner rim I don't think I'm going to do that I may just use my Rimmel liner in nude and I mean with this look you could go to work you could go out you know you could go home and darken up your outer V if you wanted to, to give you a more of a dramatic look. Okay, I'm going to go in. What shade do I want to use? Hmm, I almost think that's a little dark. Okay, I'm going to go in with this nice, light, shimmery shade here. I think the only thing I wish um, Coastal Sense would do is put names of their shadows like honestly i think this palette is worth its weight in gold it is twenty dollars i think i think that's what they are 19.99 and they're just so so nice i'm going to use this is an eye fluff brush a 282 from what is this inspire yeah inspire and i'm going to go into that shade i'm going to line I'm also going to put this in as an inner corner highlight as well. Alright. I'm going to take this brush here. This one's by Luxie, I do believe. Yes, this is the Luxie 221 Flat Definer. I'm going to go back in that same exact shade I used for my brow highlight. Now, brows. I do want to fill them in a little bit. And everybody always asks me, every time I do this, they're always like, you got full brows. What are you doing to your brows? 
and honestly if you look close like to the inner parts of my brows they are sparse and then right in here it kind of looks sparse so I'm basically going to go in and fill this in but first I am going to go in with my eyeliner the Rimmel eyeliner in nude and this is basically just going to brighten up your eye and make your eyes look a little bit bigger and you're going to look more awake okay now I'm going in with the Maybelline Define and Fill this is also known as the brow satin I do believe I've never seen it been called that but um, I know Emily Noel 83 I think she said hers was called the brow satin so I guess depending on where you are at in the US Okay, so, eyes are done. Let's see. Blush, 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 blush. I thought I had blush laid out. I did. Okay, so, I'm going to use another sample that I got at um, Kohl's. This is the Cargo Water Resistant Blush in Los Cabos, and it looks like this. It's a nice, it's coming up pink, but I swear to God, it's like a peach shade, and it's going to go really well going into fall, so I'm just going to dab my blush in there. Now, my friend Jenny, who works at Kohl's with me, she said that these are water resistant. She said this is one of her favorites. And I don't hear Cargo talked about too much on YouTube at all. But I'm basically going to go from the apples of the cheeks, and I'm just going to go up. You're just going to blend upwards. for blush all right next thing we'll do is I'll highlight this is the physicians formula happy booster and translucent and I'm gonna take the real techniques I think this is their blush brush I do believe I'm just gonna swirl it all around in here and just go up this is definitely more of a subtle highlight than you know from an outer space highlight so if you really want a more bright or uh, a more dramatic highlight, you can go for the Anastasia Beverly Hills. You could go, let me see, what other palettes? <laughs> I have two of hers and they are quite amazing. Um, you could do a single highlight from any brand that you want. I know Becca makes amazing ones. I think I'm going to purchase one of those next weekend. I'm just thinking $38 for one highlight. It better be amazing. Okay. There goes that. Last thing I'm going to do is my eyes, or my eyes, my lips. And this was the set that I also got from Kohl's, and it comes with the lip liner, the lipstick, and the gloss. I am going to try all three. Um, this is the CEO set, and these are exclusively to Kohl's. I've only seen three. There's this one and the Dominatrix one, and I think I'm going to pick the Dominatrix one up next. Now, I'm not going to lie, I smelt these. It smells like hot chocolate. I don't know what Lorac was thinking. Carol, you got something going on, darling. Do not change the smell of these. These things are amazing. So this is the final look that you're going to get. Let's see if I can move this out of the way. All right, I'll move you guys a little bit. All right, so this is your final look. 
I do like my eyebrows. Oh, good. All right, guys. So this is the video. If you like these kinds of videos, these tutorials, give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe. Trust me. I'm funny. You're going to get a tutorial out of it or any other kind of makeup video that you want. Um, if you have any other ideas that you would like me to do, let me know in the comments below and I will surely try and, you know, do them for you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.